Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jigga, the Star of Barber. And today, my client wants a light fade going up into his locks. So, with the matches completely open, I'm going to put the first line near the temple area. So my next step will be to remove the, the remaining bulk and I will be doing that with the double O going down from where the locks start all the way down to where my first line ends. Now, by removing the bulk, is it's just an extra step that I like to do so that I can see the haircut better. So, you know, I started a new segment in my videos that talks about fashion or fragrance. Just in my opinions or my tips on what I think that's suitable for certain situations, um, things like that. So... Stay tuned, and I'm going to give you my cologne pick of the week. So, please, leave a comment. Um, tell me what you think, if you agree with me, with my cologne pick. Um, let me know if it's something you might want me to try. Uh, what you think about, you know, just, just, just hit me up. I mean... And, and have a discussion about it because these are things that I like and I'm quite sure a lot of other people may like it. So just so uh, just let me know. Now that the bulk hair is removed, I'm going to take the double O with the teeth closed and go up and start the fade. And when I do this process, I won't be making another line because I'm just going to keep continue to fade up and move the lever up as I go. So it's never really creating another hard line, as I should say. So, as we go higher into the fade, we just going to continue to raise the lever another 16th or something and go up about another 16th. As we go higher, we raise the lever higher and higher, just creating that blend. And it never, you, you never really create another line because you, you blend in the fade as you go higher and higher into the top of the crown near the locks. So at this point, you got the bulk hair going. 
the fade is pretty much done and now you just fine tuning and when i mean by fine tuning i mean um just making some small adjustments about where you want to finish the, the fade uh remove and remember guys if this is your first time maybe even your second time and you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you like this video and hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted every time i drop new content and for all you barbers uh i want to know what made y'all get into barbering? Why do you like it? What made you get into it? Leave a comment. I want to get to know, and I want to know, get to know people's stories about how they got into this business or why they want to try and get into this business. And guess what, y'all? It's the lineup time. And you know, I'm going to start from the be in the front and just go from side to side, creating that first line. And then we make our adjustments as we go on. So, you know, now this is the part where, as you know, you're going back over the haircut. You're trying to see if you, if you missed anything, if you can get any line, lines out that you may have not seen early in the cut, to, to, to cut any loose strands, that, you know, because you just want to make sure you, you send a client out with the best possible cut. So this is the, the time you take to, to do the extra. So for my cologne pick of the week, uh, probably my top three in this fragrance house. Um, performance is about seven to eight hours. Projection three to four maybe. Probably you know I like it especially during the spring and summer, but this is yearly. You can probably wear it. But um, my pick of the week is bond number nine sent a piece for men and now i'm just going to use some non drip enhancement spray so that uh it'll make the the haircut come out a little you know, sharper and makes it pop a little more you know that's the whole purpose of enhancement it's not to cover up mistakes things like that which i know a lot of people do or they overuse this it. it's you really have to find a medium of how much to use and what areas and you know things like that so that's all the enhancement is for it's not for used to cover up mistakes or, or paint a whole head to make it look better than what it really is. It's only to enhance the haircut. And after using the enhancement, you know, you go over it with the razor, the clippers, to to get any residue that may have gotten onto the, the skin. And 
like I said, it, it's to make the haircut a lot better and sharper. Um, that's that's pretty much it. And like always, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all your comments. Appreciate it. And I want to thank my man B here for helping me with this video. And I will see you next time. Thanks, YouTube. Peace.